Okay, um, so this is going to be the first of two videos that's going to show you uh, my little system that I use to mem that I use to learn the amino acid residues. When referring to the amino acids residues, we're referring to this R group that's attached to the carbon in the middle. So the simplest one is going to be glycine. Glycine is where the R is just an H. In order to get alanine, all you have to do is replace the H with a CH3. Okay, so glycine, alanine. Those are the simplest ones. Um, pretty much everything after alanine is going to be a derivative of alanine. Like for example, with cysteine, you add an SH. With serine, you add an OH. Okay, I refer to cysteine and serine as the sisters because they're exactly alike except for the presence of an S or the presence of an O. All right, so they're very, very similar. The only difference is SH versus OH. Um, you'll notice that cysteine ends with S. So that's how I remember that there's an SH at the end. Um, fortunately, that little strategy doesn't work for OH and the R at the end of serine. Okay, so those are our sisters, cysteine and serine. The uh, last group that we're going to cover on here is what I like to call the family. And the reason why I call these families is because if you look at the structures, it kind of looks like stick figures. Okay, so these ones all look kind of like people. And I think of Lou as the dad. Okay, the dad is going to be hydrophobic. Okay, look at the residues. He's hydrophobic. He hates water. All right. On the other hand, the mom is quite different. She's hydrophilic. Okay, and I think of her as a three-time Olympic, um, three-time Olympic swimming champion. Okay. The reason why I say three times is because there are three methyl groups. Okay. So one two, three. And the reason why I think swimming champion is because we have this positive charge. Okay, we have the positive charge. That means the mom, aka arginine, is going to really, really love water. So Lou and Arge, they get together, they get married, and then they have three kids. The first kid takes after daddy. Okay, Illy, isoleucine. Okay, we still have the same structure. He looks very, very similar, and he's also hydrophobic, just like his dad. So is Val. But when you have the first kid, you know, the first kid gets kind of lonely, so the, the parents decide to get him a little pet. So this little methyl group on the side kind of reminds me of a dog on a leash, okay? So in order to keep Illy company, they buy him a dog. Valine, uh, v -V -A -L, he also takes after his dad, but uh, since he's the second child, you know, he doesn't need that dog. He has Illy to keep him company. And then what happens is Arge, are just kind of disappointed you know none of the kids take after her she wants a swimmer in the family okay so the third child thr three um three anine uh what happens is he takes after arch so you know arch considers three she's the golden boy or he's the golden boy you know he's like the nicholas doe of the family and the thing that makes three anine a great swimmer is the presence of this OH. Okay, so you replace one of the CH3s with an OH that makes threonine polar. Arge is happy because she finally has a swimmer in the family and someone that takes after her. Okay, so that's the first half of our amino acids.